I've decided to make another machine and film the process so you can see what's involved. Um, this is episode one, just the cabinet and gluing together the base and painting it. There will be more episodes on the electronics, wiring the playfield and wiring the back box, doing the displays. There you can see my coin door. Those side rails are stainless steel, laser cut and bent for me. That's my own lock bar receiver. Here's the cabinet with the coin door fitted. Uh, basically just dry fit to make sure everything goes where it should go. With a play field that's the right size. This is a, a dummy play field. And there it is, all glued together with the right play field in it. Legs have been fitted and the pedestal's been glued on. Now this is all get some bondo and then a white base coat. As you can see here, this is prepped for stenciling. Stencils are made for the original cabinet, which is slightly smaller than my own. These cabinets have a four and a half degree slope. And they're loosely based on the old Bally cabinets, and the Gottlieb cabinets were smaller. It leaves a white line at the bottom, but I'm not too phased. We can always decorate that with a line later. It still needs, after paint, it still needs a bit of clear coat. There's masking tape. <laughs> mm, spoiler alert! Masking tape keeps the paint off the pieces you don't want it to go. Off the front of the box as well. You can see I'm just rattling, rattle canning this thing, because I've got the right colours in rattle can, them, so it's no use mixing stuff. Just hold the stencil down with a little wire to make sure it doesn't peel up until you get under spray or over spray. So here's the blue layer going on. In later episodes, I'll show you how I've made the electronics and got the back box the way it should be. And wiring is important, but most of the really important stuff is completely boring. So I'll be surprised if anyone watches this. I'm pretty much making this for my competition so they can copy me. It's not as if what I'm doing here is special. It's been done like this for ages. If you really want to get fancy, you print good graphics on vinyl and you stick the vinyls on. And then you can clear coat on top of the vinyl if you want. But I like the old school look of this. Here's the cabinet. So thanks for watching.